pouring down her leg, real human blood. Say something. Say something. Do it again. Testing, testing, one, two, three. I am a stud. Super simple. Okay, yeah, sure. No problem. Big. Go for it. Um, I'm from Denton and I have heard of the Goatman Bridge. Is it supposed to be a scary place? Um, yes. Would you go out there at night? Um, no. I for what go. reason? I'm, I'm just not, I don't know. I don't really like goats, I guess. <laughs> so, go for it. Okay, so I'm from Denton. I've been out to Goatman's Bridge at night, and if you say his name three times and you knock on the bridge, he'll just appear. It's really creepy. You can hear noises from the woods, and you can like see things in the water. It's <laughs> so, you, and you've been out there? Yeah, yeah, I've been out there. I was in a short film, and there was all these random things kept happening when we were filming. It was pretty creepy. Anything in specific that you can say happened? Well, weird. so we we went in the woods, and they hung up a fake goat's head but as we were walking out through the woods there was all this other stuff that was hanging in the trees uh that definitely made us film a little faster um i think there was a random shoe that was hanging from the tree and then there was like a t-shirt that was hanging uh stuff that we hadn't put out there weird yeah would you go out there at night not again probably <laughs> not by myself at least I might go with other people i'm not really it's like my name is alec i'm from mckinney and I've heard uh, my sister is really big into like the occult and witchcraft. And she's told me about the Goatman Bridge, just that people would sacrifice goats on it. And that if you walk on it at night, you can hear voices of like people who killed themselves, apparently. That's what I've heard. I haven't actually been to it, but they say it's pretty legit, and pretty spooky. A woman's search for thrills ends in tragedy. Before that, they made a stop to check out the myth of the goat man. Today, I spoke with people in the area who told me this myth has taken the lives of many people over the years. Is there? <laughs> there That's you go. Fun too, yeah. If you don't have creepy stories. I'm Amy. I grew up close to Ditton. Um, I always heard Goat Man's Bridge was haunted. Um, they always tell all the, the stories. Like, if you, you sit in your car, you'll feel something push your car over the bridge, stuff like that. I never went out there, though. You never been out? I didn't, no. Interesting. <laughs> Why? I, don't, I guess the opportunity never came up. I had a very sheltered childhood. I didn't get out much. <laughs> Not, so you weren't too scared to go out there? No, I actually the don't believe in that stuff, so I, I don't think it would bother me at all. Interesting that you're wearing yeah. the ghost shirt. <laughs> it's <laughs> you fun. Don't I mean, it. <laughs> the, the concept is fun. But I love it. I'm a skeptic. I'm Emily, born and raised in Denton. I went out there with my friends to take our senior pictures out there. Nothing creepy happened, but it was during the day too. So. <laughs> but you've heard the stories? Oh yeah, I've heard. Everybody says you know it's haunted or whatever, and you shouldn't drive over there and all that good stuff. <laughs> Ever had any friends? Last question. Have experiences? Heard of anybody? I want to say I had a friend go out there like late at night one time, but I don't remember if anything happened specifically. <laughs> How many more do you need? Two, maybe? Just tell me when to go. You're good. All right, uh, I'm Devin. I'm from Denton. For Goatman's Bridge, it's not exactly like a direct story. There's a lot of different stories that have gone over it, like specifically for it. The one I've heard the most is about a goat farmer that was uh, hung off the bridge. And since he was a goat farmer, I guess he didn't like what happened to him and he ended up becoming goat man and he runs through the woods. In high school, we actually went there a lot to like swing on the rope swings or jump in the water. But uh, it's a pretty creepy place, not just because of goat man, but there's also a lot of uh, satanic cults that go out there. They do a lot of sacrifices. So right by the bridge, there's usually a big pit. It's been cleaned out by now at this point, but there's usually bones or animal carcasses and stuff in there. You don't usually want to go at night, mostly because that's when they go out and do stuff. You don't know what they're going to do to you. You don't know if you're going to find Goatman. Generally, it's not really good because the cops don't like you being out there at night either. You feel you feel odd there. You ever had an experience out there? Um, me and my friends decided to go out there one night, like junior year of high school. We decided to bring a Ouija board just to do it see what would happen. Um, we didn't have anything like paranormal. There were, it was a night that I guess the cults were doing stuff at the same time. So we heard them off in the woods doing their cult things and we, we didn't want to be a part of that. We didn't want them to see us. So we, we booked it as fast as we could. But it was, yeah, it's a, it's a scary place. What do you mean cult things? Just... They, 
sacrifice animals out there. There's also stories about them kidnapping people and bringing them out there. It's weird because it's not just Goatman's Bridge, but there's also a lot of other people who have died there. Like two or three years ago, some kid got thrown off the bridge and he ended up drowning in the river. And it's maybe 10 years ago, the same thing happened. So it's not just like Goatman or Colts. There's also a lot of other things that have happened there that are really disturbing. You have like a weird feeling about it, but it's just, it's just odd. It's an odd place. Well, everybody, good morning. It is May 8th, 2022. Just woke up in my hotel room here in Denton, Texas. And it's time to find the goat man. <laughs> Tonight's the night, baby. Check out the new pants. Just got them. New tattoo. Ready to rock. The Denton County Bridge is the focus of a terrifying ghost story. Goatman's Bridge is a 138-year-old structure connecting the cities of Denton and Copper Canyon. And as legend has it, if you visit, you may not be alone. Nestled in the woods in the middle of Denton County lies Old Alton Bridge. Built in 1884, it's better known as Goatman's Bridge. It's one of Denton's most legendary ghost stories and most terrifying. If you go there at night now, you could possibly see the Goatman. There was a man named Oscar Washburn. He, he was a goat farmer. And so he had uh, decided that he was going to put a sign up on the bridge to direct them down the dirt path to this way to the goat man. There's no official record of Washburn, but historians say he was killed in a race motivated attack on this very bridge. The legend goes that visiting the bridge is always kind of daring a visit with the goat man. There are a lot of reports of eerie encounters on the bridge and in the woods surrounding. They heard uh, many spirits uh, glowing red eyes, the smell of sulfur, uh, smell of death, uh, hoof beats and stomping around in the woods. Before that, they made a stop to check out the myth of the goat man. Today, I spoke with people in the area who told me this myth has taken the lives of many people over the years. Okay. We're right now in well right outside of Denton, Texas. Obviously we're on the path of the goat man. So as the story goes, the legend tells it that it's a man named Oscar Washburn who was murdered um, in a racially charged crime on the bridge. Well, I've never found that that was true. I haven't found any historical evidence of an event like that actually happening. That's not to say that it couldn't have happened there. But if somebody did die, if someone was murdered on that bridge, this is the old Alton Cemetery. Now, Alton, Texas, the Goatman's Bridge is known as the old Alton Bridge because it's the last remaining part of Alton, which was a small community here outside of Denton. The only real part of Alton also that's left is the cemetery. These are all the residents of Alton, Texas. There's the chapel over there from Alton, and this is all that's left of that, that whole town and those people. So if Goatman, started off as a living being that lived in Alton, this is where his body would be. Kind of interesting to, to think about that if there is a goat man, his body may be here while his spirit is slightly over there. The goat man's bridge is just right around in that area over there, so. Yeah. You excited to meet the goat man tonight? Extremely excited. What do you think? You think it's possible for Goatman to be roaming the, the woods around the bridge? Well, anything's possible, first of all. Um, but a Goatman? I'd love to see a Goatman, actually. Oh, look, here it is right you here. Know? Oh my god, oh, there's a shitload damn. of Oh my god. What the fuck? Oh my god. They had a tent out here? Are you freaking kidding me? Uh, what? I don't see. That's pretty weird, man. So we just got to Goatman's Bridge, and uh, apparently there's a film crew filming 
a movie on the bridge, a movie. And you had, I mean, when we were, we pulled up, there was a woman walking out of the area with blood pouring down her leg, real human blood. And you got out and tried to talk to him. What, what happened? Well, it's actually two young couples and the girl, it's actually up on the top by her ankle. Uh, it looks like they think she got bit by a snake and she's got two big holes and like some mucusy stuff coming out of it. And then a lot of blood that came on the front of her foot and rolled down to her ankle and down to her, her heel, like a lot of blood. And then she's starting to feel like weird. And then also her leg, she said her foot and up to her ankle so far is going like tingly numb. And so I'm like, you gotta, you, you gotta go to the emergency room now. So they just took off and went. Cause I think there's, what's the, the snake that here, that's here? I don't know. It's like not a water moccasin, but it's like, um, it's a very venomous snake. Yeah, that was weird. And she got bit walking right? Yeah, just right, 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 right on the other side of this fence, there's actually um, just like a little bit of a trail, but you walk through the weeds, the short, you know, the short weeds, but that's where she got bit. That is f***ing terrifying. It's terrifying, man, because, I mean, that's kind of a life-threatening thing, and I wish I could think of it. It's almost like a copperhead or mm -hmm. something like that is around here, especially with the water. Uh, they, they, tell, they warn you, actually, about that here. So... And I even asked, remember that? Yes, you asked I earlier. just literally asked about snakes today, about out here, because of the, the time of the season right now. It's warm and the water's here. So, and then of course a freaking movie they're filming here. I'm like, what the hell? Okay, well, we're gonna talk for a second wow. and figure this out. Okay, Jeff, come over here. Okay, so as we were just reporting to everybody, someone just got bitten by what we think is a copperhead snake. Very venomous. They're found here in this area. Jeff saw the woman with blood gushing from her leg. On the, on the actual bridge, the Goatman's bridge, there's a film shoot going on. They're shooting a movie called Goatman. So unfortunately, we can't kick them off the bridge. But it opened up a whole new possibility of investigating. I've done the bridge. I've been on the bridge, I've been under the bridge, and I really don't think that it's that haunted. I've always felt like the forest around Goatman's Bridge is where it all happens. That's where the cult meetings supposedly take place, where possible sacrifices, human sacrifices, animal sacrifices are done. The woods, Goatman's Forest, that's the area where I know plenty of people who have seen something in the woods. And I've never thought to do the whole investigation in the woods. So, as you can see behind us, we're at the second parking lot here that leads into the forest. There's nobody here around us. The whole film crew and everybody that's filming that stuff, way on the other side of that forest. They couldn't, yet, they couldn't hear us right now if we sat and screamed. We've got one bag of equipment, the FLIR camera. We're about to go back into Goatman's forest and search for anything that could be back there, because who knows? Who knows what it could be? We're gonna do a Ouija board. It's very interesting because as we've been setting up and, and seeing what we could do here, two cops came and were like searching our car in the parking lot of the other bridge. They just came over here right after we parked. They wouldn't tell us what they were looking for, but we saw them going through the woods searching for something. And apparently this is a high crime area. Like I said, the cult meetings and the people in the woods have been seen all throughout here, but we're all alone. Before we start tonight's video, I want to remind everybody that if you want a chance to win a free Paranormal Files gift bag, all you have to do is subscribe to the channel, make sure you like this video, like it right now, and comment, I love the goat man, in the comment section below. Not the live chat, the comment section. So, I'm going to give you all 10 seconds, go comment that below now. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, four, three, two, one. So, yeah, let's come over here, look at this. Even this is kind of freaky, isn't it? There it is again, dude. Smell, yeah. That is weird, dude. There's, there's something dead around here. I've, uh, I've talked about this in previous videos. Um, when I lived in Austin, at one point I went to a music festival and I walked to the festival from my apartment and on the walk, everybody was passing through this area and could smell something really bad. It smells like rotting dead fish. Um, I will never forget that smell. It comes to turn out when I was leaving the festival that 
a man had been found dead in the woods right there and his body was rotting and that's what everyone was smelling. So I know the smell of death and what's eerie is that when this wind has blown the right direction tonight, I've smelled death in the air, like a rotting corpse or a body. So there's something dead around here and I don't know what the hell it is, but. There are a lot of reports of eerie encounters on the bridge and in the woods surrounding. They heard uh, many spirits in the woods, uh, glowing red eyes, the smell of sulfur, uh, smell of death, uh, hoof beats and stomping around in the woods, uh, smell of death, smell of death. Yeah, we're just gonna go on in and, and do this thing. How are you feeling? I know you're especially creeped. Well, I mean, there's a number of factors here, obviously. I mean, we're going into the back paths, which are much narrower. I am the one that just actually came across the girl with her four of them that had been bit. And above her ankle, there were two entry marks, and then there was like a yellow stringy pus coming out of both of them, and she had blood wrapped all the way down her toes around down to her heel, and she was feeling dizzy, and she couldn't feel her toes up to her above her ankle already, so I sent them to the emergency room right away, and uh, they, they think it's, again, a copperhead talking to the police they, they came after. So again, they're back there. Uh, he said you have spiders that just come at you. I don't know what that means. Um, and then, of course, this is a big drug area. He said, you got to be careful. So he just said, go at your own risk. It's not illegal, but he won't recommend it, but I guess we're going. <laughs> so, well, I think without further ado. Okay, yeah, let's get rolling. Let's go. You want to lead the way? Okay, let's go. What the hell is this? Oh God, dude, this is creepy. say these are some very spooky woods you can really feel like a a presence back here dude a presence back here dude a presence back here dude Walking into the abyss. those marks horses does that kind of look like hooves like this oh, look at that dude that is a hoof dude looks like a big like a horseshoe and this scratch that's kind of creepy Look at this. How about right here? I've just been setting our shit up and I can hear stuff moving around. Hey everybody. Zoomed in on me. Okay everybody, Colin here. 
as a warning to viewers at home. What we're about to do is considered by some to be spiritually dangerous. We're gonna open a portal here in the Goatman's Forest near the Goatman's Bridge. For those of you who don't know, Goatman is a supposed demonic entity brought here by cults, sacrifices, blood rituals, all sorts of bad things. And, and there is a lot of bad shit that happens back here. So if you don't want to be exposed to this, maybe skip forward a minute into the video. We're gonna start right now. We got a static camera over there set up rolling, some motion balls. We got a static camera over there with the paranormal music box. If anything starts to approach us from either of those directions, both pathways, we're gonna pick it up. Holy shit. There's a f ton of bugs, bud. Okay. A bit. Okay, I'm gonna open a portal now in the Goatman's forest. When I move this planchette in a circle, I'm opening up a portal. I am inviting the goat man or any associated demonic and or negative entities to come through this board and communicate with us. If you're a good spirit, you are welcome as well, but specifically I want to talk to the goat man. I'm going to leave this portal open so you can come through at any time. Let me start out by asking, is there anybody in these woods with us? Is there a goat man? in this forest. I want you to come out and follow our voice, even if you're not the goat man. If you're a lost soul, a spirit, come through and talk to us. It's really weird as I have a pain on my ankle down here, almost in that same spot mm. where the girl got bit. There's somebody here. Can you give us a sign? It's creepy as shit back here. Okay, I just, what? I just, uh, I don't know, I guess I'm just hearing like a lot of stuff here. Like, if you it's, can hear my voice. It's pitch black. Walk towards me. Yeah, keep coming. Yes. Come from the forest towards us. That sounds like a f***ing like human walking, dude. Mm. Did you hear that? Yeah, but it's... That? Scream. You can scream, man. That's like a donkey. Definitely sounds like somebody. Okay, it sounds like there was like, to me, like a heavier animal stomp. Yeah. You know what oh, I mean? A goat. <sighs> a goat man. I don't even know what a goat man would look like, or yeah. I don't know if he's got or, goat legs and kind of like a tumnus look from. <laughs> Narnia, where he's like goat bottom, 
top or if he's got human legs and a goat upper body or a human body with the goat head. I've got like kind of... Or a goat body with a human head. It could be really any of those. Yeah. It's never really defined in, in any of these legends. But it is, it is very creepy out here and it does sound like somebody has almost circled us. I'm going to just go around here. This direction. This yeah. kind of reminds me of the feel of that Hell's Church mm -hmm. being in the back, you know? Yeah. Back woods, way back. Like, I mean, somebody wants to fucking attack us back here. Here. Let's use the Spirit Talker app. When you're filming in the forest, it's like every single noise sounds like it could be something, you know? If you're over here, once again, I'm, oh, bug right in my eyeball, Jesus. So Jeff, oh, I'm gonna turn the light off. Too many bugs. Yeah. So Jeff has the uh, Spirit Talker app right here. Yeah, we bought a new, uh, a new moto. Yeah. <laughs> it's like metallic. But yeah, um, okay. this Spirit Talker app acts like an ovulus. Here's, here's something. But yeah, once again, like I was saying, the Spirit Talker app is like an ovulus. But yeah, once again, like I was saying, the Spirit Talker app is like an ovulus. But I used Mason. it with twin Mason. Mason. That was my friend that I yeah. lived with who yeah. was from, from this Denton. area, from Denton. from Denton, my Mason. freshman That's year of college. It was your roommate. Yeah. Oh. What? That same area where the, those heavy footsteps were coming. I think we're gonna have to do a flare pretty soon that way. Yeah. Leave this place. Oh. <gasps> leave this place. Oh. Okay. Why do you want us to leave? Why do you want us to leave? Let us know. Yeah, it just feels like there's energy like surrounding us, you know? It's like thick back here. And the woods are thick as hell too. It's really just hard to see. It's pitch black. A snake could be crawling up to us right now. We wouldn't know. Can you can you tell us why we should leave this forest? I'm tired. <laughs> tired? Yeah. You're tired? Well, I'm I'm really tired. We were talking all day oh, yeah. about how tired we are. I don't know. You know, you never you can't just connect all the dots on yeah. these things. But are you tired of people coming back here? Maybe. It's like medicine. Leave this place tired. There's so many weird sounds in here. I know. If you if you speak to us right now, we can hear you. Here. Oh, oh, what? Right here. What? Right here. Oh my, I just said. I know. You can, I can hear you. Oh my God, that is crazy. Okay. Thank you. Wow. Thank you to whoever that is. Can you tell us who you are? Now that we wow. know you can hear us. Is it? 
Who else is here? Under the ground. Under oh, the ground. Like easily. Easily. Like a big crime area. Like yeah. Somebody could easily buried back out here. Dude, yes. Under the ground. Oh Who are you? Gosh. I'm buried. And dude, there's so much real estate out here where a body could be buried. The police were the police were out here earlier too, searching the woods, dude. What do you mean under the ground? Is somebody under the ground? If so, who? Dude, right when that happened, I smelled that <laughs> death again. I'm really here. <gasps> I'm really here. Okay. Right when we stopped like so, talking about it. So then give us a sign that you're really here. We have all these instruments set up. Or make a branch come down. And let us know you're really here. We hear you. Oh. Okay, let's just keep going. We hear you? Okay. Can you tell us how you died? Were you murdered? What do you want us to know if you hear us? Once again, it sounds like footsteps over there, man, behind us. Okay. <gasps> if you hear us, let us know you're here. All these devices, you can play with those, use your energy, make a big tree branch fall down. Oh, sounds like a... Please. If you can hear us like you're saying, and you're here, let us know you're here. Sick to my stomach back here. I, I got a bug in my eye. I'm trying to, figure, I'm trying to figure out what it is. Did you come through this Ouija board right now? Oh, weird too that it said under the ground, and the Ouija where I opened the portal is on the ground. Okay, we just want to actually validate that you are here. We're friendly. Show us you're here. Somehow. <laughs> Did you just say somehow? No, I don't know. I think you just said somehow. somehow. <laughs> somehow show us. Let's walk over here, dude. Okay. Okay, a couple seconds ago, I felt somebody over here approach me. Where are you now? Can you tell me? Well, your meter, your meter was really going off. Oh, oh, there it is. Stay. I was killed. Oh, okay. I was, oh, I was killed. Stop. We just asked if it was murder, dude. I was killed. I was shit. killed. And then this was going off. Yes, at the same right time. at the same time. And look at it, it's not the phone. Oh my gosh. It's not the phone. Look at that. You see this? It's not the phone. You have okay, to hold it up let's keep here to get to that. It right here. Okay. Were you killed in this area? You were? Scarlet. Scarlet. Was that your name, Scarlet? Also weird that we're filming in a red. Yeah, but still. A red light right now. Well, there now. goes the. Can you see the scarlet light? The red light? Can you walk towards it so we can talk to you? If you were killed, I'm so sorry that that happened.
watch the ground. Is this where it happened? Back here? Matthew. 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 There's a lot of Matthew. There's a lot of actual people's names here. I mean that's kind of weird. Uh huh. Like Donald, Matthew, Scarlett. Um you know, there's probably a bunch of people that have died back here, obviously. Mm -hmm. Were you killed by someone named Matthew? If you talk, we can hear you. Or you can tell us how he killed you. It's scary here. Oh, it's scary here. It is scary here. Even for you guys, huh? Dude, you know what that could mean also? Yeah. Like, maybe someone who was killed out here and is trapped here thinks yeah. it's scary because of this darkness, the go yeah. man, the well, evil, you know? Yeah. It's scary. Well, well, that's what we're assuming, that we're talking to a spirit, right? So it's still scary. Do you know well, the goat man, by chance? Can you tell us if you know the goat man? Do you know the goat man? Thank you for talking. Thank you for you're, talking. You're welcome. Um, whoa. What Shine that way? What, what, what is it? What is that? Yeah, what oh, wait that? a second. What the f was that? Did you see that too? Was it a light? Yeah. Lights, oh lights, God, lights, 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 oh right when you said God. that. That's light. crazy. What the hell? Okay, yeah, that's what I was seeing. And yes, I just saw a light. A red light. Okay. Oh my god, okay, that's what? wild. So, who has the light? 20. 20. 20. Are they 20? 20 what? Tell us, what are there 20 of? Oh, look at, 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 look at. Oh, did you get it? Yep, yep. Are you coming over by us? Come over, you can keep playing with this. Do you hear that, like, bird or something? Yes. And once again, birds at night are a symbol huh. or a sign that the devil is near. Really? So hearing birds right now is kind of creepy. I hear some balls right here. Once again, let me ask you one more time. Do you know who the goat man is that everyone seems to know around here? Is he a demon? Neither. <gasps> Neither. Neither demon nor human. Yeah. Okay. So a different type of entity. Mm. That's spooky. Well, you could have, you know, obviously animal entities, right? But well, he's a you goat could, man. Well, yeah, I mean, it's neither. If you're here, what are you? Prove. Okay. Oh, look at the meter. Look at the meter. Oh. Is that you proving that you're here by flashing our meter? That's what they prove. Okay, I see that you prove it. Oh, I, this is the first time I've ever actually had chills. Look at look at my mm -hmm. my hairs and my arms. Oh, I can see it. it's hot out too. I'm like feeling like the. Did I scare you? Well, look, at, look at the meter. Look Dude, at the meter. Did I scare look you? Look at the meter, and it went off right when it said. Okay, but you just yes. said that you felt chills yeah, for the yes. first time, and it said, "Did I scare yes. you?" Yes, you actually did scare me. Are you trying to scare me? Are you trying to scare me? What else can you do to scare me? Oh, look at, look at the, look at, look at what's going on. Oh, oh, oh. oh did you get it? Uh, Damn it. The REM pod just went off. That's right when I asked him to show me. Oh, there, there it is, there it is. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I got chills. Yes, dude. Ooh. Right when you asked what look else this, it can do it. to scare you. I'm happy, I'm happy when oh, look you're it, look scared. It, look at, look at. Thank you for showing me. Dude, it's happy when you're scared. Oh, I have got, 
I'm totally. Oh my god, again. I'm freaked too. Oh, I see your no, goosebumps. No, I'm like totally like my Whoa. legs. You <laughs> did scare me, and you did prove by making this light go off, that light go off. What else can you do for us? It sounds like you're having fun. Oh. Go ahead. That thing hasn't gone off no. in like four no. investigations either. It sounds like you're having fun. So go ahead and keep playing with our toys. We're here to listen to you. Go ahead. It's not going to hurt you. Visit. Okay. Are you going to visit us right now? I think you are here. How about you visit us and, and can you walk towards us or show us what you look like? What would you like for us to, to tell the world about you? Oh. Yeah, what, what is that? These are creepy woods, no. man. Okay, we're, I don't want to lose you. If you're still... Lad. Wow. Okay. What do you mean by lad? Do you mean Colin? Because I'm older. Don't leave us. I just heard a metal squeak. Okay, there's a music box way down at the end down there. It's, it plays a really cool tune. Can you go down there and play You're with... You're okay here. Can you go down there? You're okay here. Okay. So I feel safe then. Where does the goat man hang out in this forest? Can I ask you that? Do you know where the goat man hangs out? I like it here. Ah. <sighs> Where? Okay. I like it here. Why do you like it here? What is it that makes you like it here? And you feel safe here, it says, too. Okay, who are you, then? Out of the names that have said that you like it here, who are you? What's your name again? Visit, Please old. get out. <sighs> okay. Hmm. It's the second time it's told us to leave. Yeah, we got to kind of probably, you know, I wonder if it's like a protective spirit. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Why should we get out? What is the danger here? This could also be a human spirit. Look at, look at, look at, look at, look at, look at, look at. Right when I said human spirit. Look at that thing going off. Trying to protect us against the evil one, you know? Telling us to leave, I was killed, it's bad here. Right. I kind of get a feeling like this is a spirit, a protective spirit myself from something. What are you protecting us from? I just heard like a growl. Me too. Did you hear that? Dude, yes. Turn, shine over there. Holy shit. That's oh, like a you. scream. Wrong. What is that? Do you hear that? Yeah. Dude, dude, dude. Okay. Here, hold on. That sounds like a like, like a lion cat. Seriously. Like a, like a, like a mountain lion? Yeah, and we're that like we are fucking scary, deep in the man. woods right now too. You. The hell? I don't want to talk. I don't want to talk. Okay, that's okay. If that was you that growled, can you growl again? Like a freaking low growl, like a, like a. Yeah, no, I I heard that. Okay, everybody, so we're gonna leave the static cams 
Hear that? Yeah. So we're gonna leave the static cams running here at this base camp area. And Jeff and I are gonna walk down the path further and use the FLIR camera to scan through the woods and see if we can see anything. The FLIR camera is our thermal imaging camera. And while we walk, I'm going to run an EVP session as well. Definitely don't want to get bitten by a f***ing snake right now. Okay, let's do this. Where are we going? This way, back here. Where? Um, I think to the left. What the fuck? This looks pretty fresh too, dude. You know? You can't really... What? There's something moving over here. Okay. What the fuck? Hold still. What the fuck is it? We just got some stuff set up there. Oh, sorry. Yeah. No, when you when you walk through. If you, if you just watch the floor down there. Yep. I see. There's a lot of stuff out here. Here, well, let me ask you a question. Can you come look at something that we just came across on this yeah. path? We we're just looking at this. Because uh, I mean, you're the the only people that we've seen out here this whole time. Where'd you go? This. Yeah, all Thirty people in my cast. Right there. What, what do you think that this? Going. Wow. What does this look like? Wow. It's a triangle. It's a triangle and a circle. Yeah. Ritual. A ghost. Yeah. Uh, that can that could be somebody just playing around, yeah. basically doing that. But there's a lot more if you go uh, down here, and there's these pipes, and the pipes are like on this hill, on top of the hill. There's five pipes. And there's a bunch of those Satan signs everywhere, all over it, all graffiti okay. everywhere on the whole sides and everything. On everywhere you go, look around, it's all graffiti. Wow. We ran, we ran a, a ghost box up there, and we hear you can hear all kinds of stuff. I mean, it's like amazing. <coughs> this, this, this is so haunted. This is, this is the hauntedest wood as I know. And also, we also hear at night. Sometimes you hear like stuff like that? that. What is that? Is that uh, a hole? I don't know. Yeah, it sounds like a hole. But um, you can hear all kinds of stuff like that, but then you'll hear something like something made the sound. So where would the pipes be that you were talking about in that area? Okay, if you've gone to like a ravine where it's like a wall that goes up and you, you, you walk and it's, it, it's like when you look up, you can see like the steel, the steel tubes. And these tubes, you can walk into the tube, you duck down into it, but you could like see all this graffiti. Everybody made all kinds of weird graffiti down in there. Satan signs and all that stuff is over there. Yeah. Wow. So yeah. So you'd say this forest is haunted? Oh yeah, it's got it's got witching. There's definitely uh, something something here. And you've been coming here for a while. Yeah. yeah. You ever I've had seen any phantoms favorite? too, and also sprites. Oh yeah, really? Those sprites that, that they'll, they'll, know, they'll they'll kind of play okay. games with you. So we saw some lights. Yeah. Out there, like red, kind of red, yeah, red light. Sparkles. Yeah, we saw the red lights too. Oh, you did? Just now? Just now, a minute ago. Well, yeah. What but, does a sprite look like to you? Uh, it's got like the wings, and it looks like a dim so sea. A sprite, Not a dim yeah. sea, but like a dragonfly, but uh -huh. with legs. With legs. Basically, yeah. You see them at night? Oh yeah, you can see but them. What are they? How do they? Do they glow? Or do they're they... going to be by the trees, and they're going to. Yeah, you're going to see like this sparkly oh, stuff. Sparkle. Yeah. 
and it's just brief and it's just brief seconds you'll see them right. also you see little like i don't know if it's little gnomes or druidads or you know the little yeah. little people yeah i call them mm -hmm. and they come out and like golems i guess or something weird i don't know what they are but they go and run from a tree to another tree and then back and forth into the shadows and they hide into the shadows but every now and then you'll see a glimpse of one coming through here and you'll you'll wonder what it is if that's an armadillo or that oh. one of those you know what i mean yeah yeah yeah. most times it's an armadillo but these things are scary dude it's yeah. it's a scary woods yeah this is well, not no lie here <laughs> and then by the uh the bridge i've had a lot of experience if you take pictures on that bridge you'll see uh, anomalies all in your photograph and you're like i also went over there and did an evp, EVP. Okay. and then my my everything went dead everything and then another uh, one another guy had his phone and it went dead yeah and we were looking at each other no way there's no way we just were charged this was a hundred and then we rebooted the phones and they were at zero they were like how can that be at zero yeah we've had that so many times yeah. i'm like i was freaking out yeah. man that's crazy and i could feel like something like following us and, and talking in your ear as you're hiking yeah. through these woods like something like it's like whispering something of some sort and i don't know what it is or can't you know so let me ask you the, uh, finally uh over here we were standing and it definitely sounded to me like a low growl like it would be like a mountain lion almost growl oh yeah there's mountain lion in here too there is yeah. mountain lion. yeah be in careful here. yeah wow Holy a few gosh. of them and, and also uh it's like twice i heard it like it, it could be a coyote because coyotes, coyotes go through here Creepy. Yeah, it's, uh, they're pretty big too. They're yeah, almost real, wolf size. Oh yeah, you gotta be careful on those. But they're more scared of you yeah, than you are usually of them. Coyotes are, Man, yeah. they can run away. But if they're in a pack, it's the only time you gotta be worried. Yeah. And you know, just slowly back off from them. Yeah. Don't go. Keep going through that way. You, right. got, you have to back off from them. There's yeah. no way to get. There's no way around that. But yeah, there's some stench going over here. Yeah. I don't know if there's a dead animal. Or something. You, you're you know, saying there's the a beginning. stench? That's I was saying that at the very about. beginning, yeah, man. Stench at the front of this. Yes. Exactly. This trail, yeah. yeah. That's what I said. Yeah, that's what we're talking. That's about. crazy. It's really nasty too. It's like, yes. Oh, it that's just something the wind like hits dead. you. It's something dead in the woods. When this wind has blown the right direction tonight, I've smelled death in the air, like a rotting corpse or a body. So there's something dead around here, and I don't know what the hell it is, but. Who else is here? Under the ground. Under the oh. ground. Dude, right when that happened, I smelled that <laughs> death again. Ah, uh, smell of death. There's something dead in the woods. Yeah. That's what I literally was saying the whole time. That's yep. crazy, man. Well, well. well all right, well, good luck and. Uh, Okay, but also, can we talk about that weird symbol thing for a second? Like, what the hell is that? I, I've been on the, what? He didn't really know either. No, yeah, he said it could be people messing around, but it's just, it looks very fresh. It does look fresh. Here, let's walk down here. Yeah. Here, I'm gonna turn my light off. I'll turn my infrared on and do an EVP while yeah, you I'll scan. I'm gonna ask some questions. Why don't you scan with the FLIR? Okay. Okay. To anyone who might be out here in this forest, can you tell us your name? Can you tell us what you are?
Can you tell us why you're still here? Do you know who the goat man is? Can you tell us why you wanted us to leave so badly earlier? What's the biggest thing that we should be afraid of in this forest? You had told us that you liked it here and that you felt safe here. It was the name of a color. Can you say that name again? Who you are, the name, who I think we were talking to into there? Behind us. Okay, thank you. Let's go back to base camp. Okay. Nothing on the floor. Um, really what? This ball's not even on. When you picked it up? Uh-uh, no. <laughs> I got that on camera when I was putting it down that it was on. Is it dead? No, it's on. <sighs> Uh -huh. Let's see if I'll put them. Yeah, that one's on. Weird. And then, where's the other one? Right here. Okay, everybody, so it's been a long, interesting night here. Lots of bizarre evidence. Very frightening, just eerie vibes out here in this forest. But I still don't have the answers that I thought I'd have. I guess Goatman's Bridge and Goatman's Forest will forever... You hear that? Yeah, something's going on. My pocket is vibrating. This place will forever remain a mystery. We're not done with the video yet, but for now, tonight, I'm gonna say, to whoever's here, goat man, any spirits, human or non-human, I hope you find peace. I hope we didn't bring you too much trouble. You do not have permission to follow us home. I'm closing the portal and you have to stay here. Goodbye. All right, let's uh, wrap it up. So we're out here at Goatman's Bridge for the finale of this episode. We were going to investigate this afternoon, but it's really hot. We're late getting to our next place. And I think this is a natural wrapping up point for my time here. This is one of the first places that I ever investigated here in Texas. I have so many great memories here on this bridge, but I still don't know what to think. Last night, paranormal activity. The times I've visited before, paranormal activity. But I don't know what's causing it. I don't know if there is a goat man. All I do know is that this place is a, it's like a living folktale. It's a place where you can come connect with the past and, and experience a myth or a, you know, a horror story in real life, the goat man's bridge. This is such a, such a famous place, but I've never had anything too crazy happen here. But something that's really sad that happened here a couple years ago, a young high school student named Lermont Stowers Jones 
um, allegedly jumped from the bridge and took his own life. Now, the authorities claim that that's what happened, but Lamont's family has claimed that there are things that are being hidden up, that there are things that the police aren't telling uh, the family members. Friends don't believe it. They say that he was a great swimmer. He would never do something like that. He wasn't depressed. So there's a lot of mystery surrounding that death. But today we brought these flowers out here for Lamont. And instead of placing them on the bridge where someone can come take them, and since he died in the water, and that's kind of where the story begins and ends, you want to go with the, the running water thing. People always say places near rivers or bodies of water are haunted. Well, once again, this bridge is above the water. But I'm actually going to throw these flowers out. We took all the rubber bands off. But we're going to throw these out into the river from the bridge for Lermont. So I hope that you found peace, man. Hope to all the spirits out here, even though this is my last time here, you all find your own peace. These flowers are for you guys. And uh, that's it.